You're more than, more than, you're more than a friend to me. You're more than, more than, you're more than a friend to me. Do you have mommy issues? Uh, I'll say for me, I don't think if I have, because mm. what, what really prom prompted me to decide to go to yes. her, for me, I think it's the past experiences that I've had with younger ladies, uh -huh. especially. Like, with younger ladies, mm. I will say, you'll meet someone, you try to talk to her, to talk to her about finance, let invest, she's not into it. She yes. just want, she just want... The easy life. The easy life. Some people might think, because he's young, he's energetic, that's why you are with him. What do you say to those people? The way I see him, he's a man who happens to be young. So it doesn't matter if he's older or he's, if he's yes. younger. Mm. He's just a man who happens to be, be younger than me. And you're just a woman who happens to, to be, be in love. <laughs> <laughs> if this is being Kinuthia, I'm the best. You're the best Kinuthia. Yes. <laughs> if, if, if this is what they call Kueko for me, if I've become the best of me mm. by this, mm. then I'm in it. Good morning and a warm welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, there is no doubt that age gap relationships can create a bit of controversy, especially when the lady is older than the gentleman. But why? Because sometimes when you get a man and he has a young lady, no one questions. So why is it that when a woman is a bit older, we have something to say about it? Well, my guests today are here to shed some light on age gap relationships and I have a lot of questions for them so i want to thank them for joining us but before i do that guys i want to say thank you for being incredible supporters of our work so if you are watching this episode without having subscribed uh, please subscribe and hit the notification button on so that you do not get to miss on any of our episodes viatu niza elegance please and then in Nunue if you're in a position to and now without further ado please allow me to let my incredible guest introduce themselves good morning good morning really. how are you i'm very fine looking lovely thank you yes. you too looking yes. okay oh thank you and i'm beautiful. just okay <laughs> You're okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah? And yeah. beautiful too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for being it. here. So if you can start by introducing yourself. Okay, wow. Uh, my name is Walter. Yeah. That's my real name. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people know me as Mesesi. Mm -hmm. Mesesi is an audio producer yeah. currently working with Bahati, yeah. EMB Records. Yes. And uh, that's me. Like I do more audio recording. Yeah. I do sound engineering. Yes. Good and job. Yeah, I really well, appreciate. You, you're doing an amazing work. I really so appreciate. I know we are used to giving <laughs> ladies their flowers. Yeah. So chukua <laughs> zako. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but mine, mine, mine are imaginary uh, flowers. Yeah, they're imaginary. <laughs> yeah. And your lovely lady here. Yeah, please introduce yourself. Well, thank you very much for inviting us. Yes. I'm very humbled to be here today. Yeah. And I'm very excited to meet you, actually. Uh, my my name's are Judy yeah. Wangi, yeah. a.k.a. Judy Lester. Yes. I am I have a mother yeah. of three kids. Yes. I'm a business person. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And I also do music. Okay. And a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where, where did the name Lester come from? Lester is the name of my last boy child. Oh, how, how old are your kids? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got an answer though. <laughs> My kids are 26, yes. 24, and 16. Oh my goodness, we are coming for okay. tips because <laughs> I like even you, are, you are also shocked. You yeah. are just a little bit shocked. Yeah, sure. I'm yeah. just really happy to have you guys on the show. I love seeing beautiful things. Yeah, I love sure. when love is working. Yeah. I love love. Yeah. So when there's a chance for us to celebrate love, yeah. we are going to celebrate it. Yeah, sure. So, uh, let me ask first and foremost, because this conversation and you are guys, you're already out with this information yeah. on how old you are. Okay. So for the purpose of this interview, how old are you? I'm 31. And how old are you? I'm 
I'm 46. Because me, I'm not telling anyone I'll be like, Nico, I'm in my 30s. Yeah, so um, it's very interesting to see you guys wanting to even come out. But why was it important for you to share this story with the audience? Okay, uh, for me, I will say, mm. you see, God, God, uh, when God was creating humans, yeah. He said, uh, he said, uh, he who finds a wife yes. finds a good thing. Yeah. Uh, that means you have to look and find. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. So for me to come out and say I'm engaged to Judy Lester, yeah. it's one thing I felt. It's it's a privilege that I need to celebrate. Mm-hmm. It's something that I need to make people understand. When you when you find that person that yes. you can feel, I wanna settle with this person, yeah. it's something that you need to put it out there in the mm. world because mm. love is to be celebrated. It shouldn't be a secret. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. go on, go on. Okay. So, yeah. uh, the, the the most interesting part is if you treat a woman right, that's the point. Yani, you just need to treat a woman right. Uh-huh. Give her give her the best. What Make is her right? Proud. What is right? Being proud of the person you are uh. with irrespective of how she is, if she's disabled, yani you, you can be proud and say, okay. this is my woman. All right. That's the best thing. Yeah. And that's what you find even in the Bible, uh, when God told uh, uh, Adam, this is your wife. Mm-hmm. I've given it to her. This is a gift. For me, Judy Lest is a gift. Oh. She's the best gift in my life. I am loving the chemistry. Mm-hmm. I can already tell who the introvert <laughs> is and who the extrovert is. Yeah, okay. Judy is here clinging for her <laughs> life. She's like cleaning <laughs> But you are still with us. I was the interview. But for you, for you as Judy, why was this important? Uh, for me, the reason why it was important mm-hmm. it's because I don't want to hide. I want to live my life to the fullest. Yes. I feel like I just started living. Yeah. So it was important. <laughs> <laughs> It was important for me to come out yeah. and be real about it. Mm. Yani, me being my yes. myself yeah. and living for myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And is it true that when they say for a woman life begins at 40, is that it's true? It's definitely, definitely <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Because at 40, mm. you're not afraid of anything. Okay. You have already lived your life. You have yes. made mistakes. Yeah and you have learned and still learning mm. but at 40 you you are not afraid of anything yeah. so even it, the society it, yeah I, i'm not afraid of people mm. talking bad about me they have talked before so it's it's normal for me for people to talk whatever they want to talk yeah. to talk about yes but so far i can say that there has been a lot of positive feedback vibes yeah, yeah. i saw it yeah would you say you are genuinely incredibly in love with this man right 100 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. percent yes yeah. i know i want to get into how you guys met mm-hmm. because we are interested personally <laughs> i'm invested uh-huh. i'm invested in this story i want to know who hit on who <laughs> lines gani mlirusha hapo katikati but a year ago judy you did say that what you have with him is a business relationship mm, you saw okay. that <laughs> <laughs> I heard that my, my my director, the person directing this gala told me that. Mm-hmm. So and she said, Lynn, you gotta ask for me. Yeah. Why did she say it was a business relationship? Uh, by then mm. it was business. Okay. It was a hundred percent business. Yeah. But <laughs> as time went by, yeah. uh he started. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, he yes. started Kurusha uh, Maneno. Okay. So we kind of grew mm-hmm. into it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now we've confirmed. When Yalianza Kurusha So let's see if you could take us just a bit back. Okay. Your relationship with Judy, okay. how you met mm-hmm. Ukanza Kurusha is a mystery. Uh, I, I think I met her the first time I saw her was on stairs. Like, Stairs. She was living. She, the place she was staying. Yeah. It was uh, the same mm-hmm. estate uh, okay. with the, where I was working. Yeah. So I met her and I was like, "Wow, she looks beautiful." For me, at the, <laughs> I, I from the first onset, mm. I saw her. Mm. For me, I felt attracted. I was like, "Wow, she's beautiful. Okay. She looks so good." Mm. Understand? 
So he just passed high high. Went then after a period of time. Actually that time it was the hardest part of my life. Yeah. Uh, it's another story for another day. Mm-hmm. And then she 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 wanted to do music. Yeah. She was doing uh, Kikuyu music actually yes. by then. Yeah. So she wanted to record music. So yeah. She came to our studio. She mm-hmm. found the re- receptionist. Mm-hmm. She asked if uh, the producers are around. The mm-hmm. receptionist said no. Mm-hmm. And actually I was in. Oh, okay. So I came to learn about her through through my the receptionist of the studio mm-hmm. who told me, hey, there is a client who has come. Check out if you can work with her. Because actually a lot of people don't know even we do uh, like Kikuyu songs. Oh. So when I looked at the songs, I was like, wow, this is the woman I think of. <laughs> so actually... Ati, this is the woman I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time now I'm looking at her videos, yes. uh, I asked the sh- uh, I did ask the receptionist mm. if she has left her number. Okay. Then she said yes. Mm. So I took her number from the visitor's book, yes. contacted her, I told her, hey, hi, Mr. Riacons, I love your work. Hey, hey. <laughs> actually, I love your work. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> So, so that was the first. So how that's how I came to interact with yes. her. It was purely through music, yeah. through job. Mm-hmm. Then as days goes by, each time she came to studio, I could see her growing more beautiful and Hi-ya. beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, men have <laughs> things. Yeah. Uh. One thing one thing women don't know, the moment a man meets a lady, within five minutes, a man anakonga shajua, um, will I marry her? Will I just be with her for this? Period. You just need five minutes to oh, analyze all of that. Yes. So the moment I saw her, I saw a lot of peace in my life. I saw, uh, I saw maturity. I just see, I just saw a person whom I can call my wife. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So it's it's so men. You just look at women and you already yeah. know who ni wangu. Hey, you just need five minutes. You have analyzed the whole process of so your you life. So you need a smash, a pass, yeah. a lifetime, <laughs> yeah. and a. Hey, <laughs> What? Yeah, sure. That is strange. Yeah. Judy, what yeah. do women think? You you when he when he started making those advances towards uh, you. I, I was not into it at all. Oh. First, first because of the age gap. Mm. I thought she was just <laughs> looking around with mm. me and mm. playing with my <laughs> with my emotions. Yeah. But yeah. after some time a little bit of some time meeting and talking and chatting and doing music together. I love the way he works. Okay. I I love the energy in the studio mm-hmm. and I think I think that led it to me uh, wanting mm-hmm. to have something. Kwamsha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask yeah. you. You when you when you are looking for a guy, right? What turns you on in a man? What makes you feel like uh, this man I can look at him twice or thrice? Uh, what captivates you in a man? Uh, the way he treats women, mm. every woman. The way he talks about other women, especially his mother, mm. his former friends. Yeah and the relatives yes. and the neighbors, yes. the way he relates to women and mm. how he treats women and mm. how he speaks about women. Because yeah. many men are very abusive, mm. very, very, very mm-hmm. abusive. So to find someone who who is not abusive, yes. especially nowadays, it's yeah. very hard. To yeah. find someone who, who understands you, who, who talks to you in a calm, in a calm way. Yeah and who respects you, who yeah. respects your boundaries, who respects your image, who you are, yes. who takes you as you are. Yes. He doesn't think that uh, maybe I'm fat, I have whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a calves. Yeah. 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 He loves me for who I am. Yeah. He doesn't mm-hmm. tell me to change mm-hmm. whatever. Okay. He just loves me for who I am. So he's there to compliment you and to be yeah. a bonus, not to change you. Yeah. Right. Okay, I want to get into a bit of personal matters here. Feel mm-hmm. free not to answer. Mm-hmm. But you said you have three kids, right? So by the time you were meeting him, were you mm-hmm. coming from a, a broken a relationship? Or were you single? Or were you there mm-hmm. and not sure, should I be here or should I be out? And feel free also not to answer that part. Um, I think that's a story for another day. Okay. <laughs> but I was single for like 
may be three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So by the time you are meeting him, you're single. Yeah. By the time you are meeting her, who uh, could you have For me, I'll be honest. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, wanna, I don't want to talk about past of my life yes. a bit because we, we when when I met her, that's something we agreed, like, let mm. our past remain our past. past. But uh, I was... Uh, I was at a stage of my life. Like, if people noticed, there's a time I I really came out of social media mm -hmm. because I had got to a point that life was was not fair at all. I just wanted peace. So I, I was. Those were. I, I'll say for me, 2020, 2021, and 2022 were the hardest part mm -hmm. of my life. I went off from even vlogs of Diana. Actually, mm -hmm. I went mute because what had happened in my life is something that. Uh, I just wanted peace and I wanted someone whom, whom, whom I can com connect with. Mm. I just wanted a switch and a socket yeah. and I got it from her. Okay, how yeah. are you now? Now I'm, I'm proud. You are good? I'm proud of whom I am today uh -huh. and I'm really proud that to to say, let me tell you Lynn, yes. if today me I see someone wakes up and say, I want to kill myself because of love, I know what it means. I know what it means when the person, when when you get to a place like, you can even kill yourself because of love. Mm. Let me tell you the one thing that us young people do mess up around is the person you choose to live with. Mm -hmm. I remember the time I was <laughs> throwing vibes on her. I told her, you know what? And if you're not going to give me a chance and whatever you're going to have won't, uh, won't lead to marriage, I don't want it. Oh. That was the condition. I told her, you know what? I'm here with one purpose. If you give me a chance, no, it's for marriage. That was my basic aim in her life. Mm. So for me, I'll say getting Judy is the best thing ever in my life. Okay. And that's why even proud I can walk holding her and say, okay. baby, you know, I love you. Oh, okay. And thank you for giving me that chance. Right. <laughs> how, how do you feel? Because um, I, I, I wouldn't want him to talk about the hard things he was facing. Mm. But personally, I think I, I have a clue. So when you when you started uh, being together, obviously he was coming from a hard place. Mm -hmm. So if you could tell us, he says he's proud of you, showing you off you. Are you proud of him? Mm -hmm. And would you say you played a role in making sure he has peace of mind right now? I think that uh, <laughs> we, we both complimented each other. Mm -hmm. The place he was coming from, I was coming from almost mm -hmm. the same place okay. mentally emotionally mm -hmm. psychologically spiritually so i think me and him meeting we met uh, two people met who were tired mm -hmm. and we just needed peace mm -hmm. someone who can compliment you someone who can accommodate you mm -hmm. and i think that is why our connection is very tight right. okay because we know what it means to yes. not to have peace yeah we know what it means to to be in a toxic environment mm -hmm. and i think me me be uh, understanding that and him understanding that yeah. it's a it has connected us even more. yes can mm -hmm. i ask do, do you think you are both spiritual beings because would you say you are spiritual beings yeah for me i'm a, actually i'm an sda i go mm. to sda church okay and she's very spiritual that's one thing people <laughs> don't know yeah. one thing i i love about her she will she'll wake you up and tell you, you know what, it's time to pray. Let's pray. Anything we do, we put it in prayer. Because mm -hmm. I remember the time, <laughs> the time we were doing the announcement, actually, she, she was, her phone was off. She had gone for fasting for two weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah two weeks. Mm -hmm. She did go for fasting for the announcement. Then she told me, no, you can and, um, announce. Yeah. Okay. And we really appreciate the support. Yeah. Although, yes, there are negative feedback. Mm -hmm. But one thing I'll say, God works. Yes. Yeah, sure. Um, why were you a bit scared of him announcing or what were you thinking the world would say given the age gap is 15 years, right? Yes. So uh, why were you scared or were you actually, maybe I'm the one assuming you were scared, were you scared of what yeah, the world yeah, would say? Yeah, I was, I was. <laughs> wow, very much so. Mm. But mostly I was afraid of my kids, their judgment. Mm and how they would react mm -hmm. to that. Okay. But surprisingly, they, they're happy for me. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What did they say? Like, mommy, do you live your yeah, life? Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, the, the most, the most sweetest part is, mm. 
we really did it for a while thinking that the kids don't know give us the timelines how how long did you date before breaking it to the kids cuz i think it was one one year two months okay. it was a period of time yeah uh, i think people started noticing that the time we did a vlog somewhere with my boss mm. so people were like ah those two something so, something uh, some, so it has been uh, in and around in mm. and around so we felt like instead of people making it as a rumor yeah. it's good now we come out clear okay it, yeah. yeah so by that time i think uh, especially her kids are uh, we, ne- we thought that they don't know actually to our surprise yes. the, by the time i interacted especially the daughter the daughter told me i know you and mom you know uh, yeah. so i was like wow Oi. you know yeah. so it was but i really have a lot of respect for the kids yeah okay so do, do you have kids of your own yes i have a daughter uh, you have a daughter yeah. how old is your daughter she's the four also oh, bado ajafika your stage sana ah, yeah, yeah. ya kuelewa yeah, sure. but let's go to the kids because when you are dating as you know like maybe as a single mom that period where now you bring the person you are dating in the life of your kids is very important because you don't want to keep introducing your kids to different men this and this huh? what influenced informed your decision or did you even sit down with your kids and tell them i'm about to bring someone you'll be seeing him around umesema muna mshananga kuomba so yeah, that yeah. means at some point you are in each other spaces yeah, 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 so yeah. at what what informed your decision to sit with your kids and tell them I have someone in my life and also how was their first reaction meeting him officially <laughs> as their moms be mm. I I I did not have that chance of telling them mm. I just prepared them I yeah. told them that there is some changes that you are going to see and I hope you understand me mm-hmm. so I did not sit them down and told them this and this and this mm. I just told them you're going to see some changes yeah especially from january you're going to see some changes yeah and i hope you will understand me and mm-hmm. love me the same way yes. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah mm. let's talk about your girlfriends because i know you have friends you know women did mm. you reach out to a couple of them to tell them this is what is going on mm. and what should i do no mm. why because this is my life yeah and i love I that to seek permission for permission <laughs> from yes. anybody yeah so i, I didn't ask anybody mm-hmm. it was my decision oh. mm-hmm. yeah. so collectively how long have you guys been together i think uh two years mm-hmm. it's uh, one year and eight months now yeah, yeah. okay so mm-hmm. people say before you engage someone wapi ring ya judy i knew that actually we talked about this the day yeah. in the morning yes. was like not the last ring yeah, of course But, uh, i got to ask one thing uh, as is days we don't use rings yes. like it's it's actually in the public when it's days we do marriage even mm. in the marriage mm. don't use ring because oh. spiritually uh, in our doctrine we believe different ways come okay. to rings. Oh. so i knew people will ask with the ring yes. the ring but actually for mm. days just say we we value more the words i love that yeah than the signs okay so because we believe the greater covenant you mm. make it with god okay because if i ask you what what if uh, when you look at it biblically when when jesus dis- decided to love us he did it he didn't give us a symbol he mm. given he did send a spirit mm-hmm. the holy spirit to be a connection between us yes. so god gave us love to be yeah. a connection between us yes yeah. i love that so uh take me through the whole engagement how okay. did you propose uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay i will say i remember there's a time uh, it was a it, i didn't want to do it publicly like yes. too there's a time she she was uh, you know couples argue yeah. we were really argue. argument and then she yeah. she came actually to my place and she was like i'm coming this is done this is the end of us yeah. yeah she was like i remember that day she came at mm. my place in mm. garden estate she mm. came and was like mm. wow so i looked at her she was talking she was talking and then i i asked her who's judy at 60 was Judy at 50 and then she kept her looking at me and, the, and the, I told her you know what I want to be with you at 60 I want to be with you at 70 I want to still love you and I want to, one day you can tell the world this is my husband and mm-hmm. I say to her this is my wife and then that's when I asked her mm-hmm. you know what will you marry me and she <laughs> said 
Yeah. And w- what was going through your mind when he was asking you who is Judy at 60, 70? And he's very intelligent. So I assume that must have been like, okay, so what was going on through your mind? I, I was looking at my life, mm. uh, looking at my past, looking at my present, and then looking at the future. Mm-hmm. And I, I realized that I have to give myself a chance to love again and to live full again. And when he asked me about who is Judy at 60, who is Judy at 70, and I remember my sister died at 33, the other one died at 43. And then I said, I am still here. So why not give myself a chance? Mm-hmm. And that is why I said yes. Mm-hmm. A second chance at yeah. love. Yeah. Man, that's strong for me. Like we should always give ourselves the right, the right to yeah. experience something sure. yeah. one yeah. more time. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. Mm-hmm. Was there a stage in your life where you felt like you didn't want love anymore? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there was a time that I had given up completely. Mm-hmm because of a lot of issues, but yes. that's a story for another day. It's but okay. I was at that time, mm. especially when we met. He made me realize who I am. He allowed me to be who I am. Mm. And it's like I found myself again. It's like I was lost. I didn't know who I was. Mm. And so with him, he has helped me to see who I really am, yeah. to see value in myself. Mm-hmm. And I think that that is very big for me. For you? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Judy. Right mm-hmm. now, who are you? What has he helped you mm-hmm. see? The value in me. Mm-hmm. I can do anything. I can, whatever I set my mind to do, I can do it. That is something he has in- installed in me, mm-hmm. something that, you know, with life, we go through some things and you lose track of yourself. You lose yourself in the process of trying to yes. to please everyone, trying to make other people happy, and then you forget yourself. Mm-hmm. You see? So when he came to my life, he made me realize you are also important. Mm-hmm. You, are, you, you, deserve, you deserve to be happy. You deserve yes. to live again. You yes. deserve love. You mm. de- yani, I... I <sighs> Una deserve kupendwa. Yes. Like it's yeah, like kupendwa na upendeke. Like it's it's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, I, so I think for me that has been the biggest part of him yeah. for me. Okay. Yeah. Miss Essie, yeah. what did she help you find in yourself? She met me the time I wasn't accountable with my finance. Like she sat me down and told me, you know what, what's your salary? <laughs> Now you go, you're going to fix yourself, you're going to be the man, you're yes. going to fix your salary, you're going to fix yeah. your dressing. And she really made me realize, oh, yeah, because I was at, at the point I was getting years, I was getting money mm. and I was like, actually, I remember the time I met her, I told her, you know what, I want to buy, buy a car from you. Mm. Uh, the car she, 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 she had on, mm. I wanted to buy that car. Mm. Then she told me, what's your finances? Mm. So she, she really walked through me because I normally tell ladies out there, if you have a guy who can handle the finance, there are very small problems you need to encounter in life. Yes. So she did help me handle my finance, mm. able to to know when to how to save, how mm. to invest. Yeah. She has really played a, a, played a very big a role, role when doing that. Mm-hmm. The next thing she has made me realize that uh, age is not wisdom. Age is sometimes not all people who are, who are aged are people mm. who have wisdom. So, mm-hmm. Some of them have experience which is confused with age, uh, with, uh, with wisdom. wisdom, you understand? So she made me realize, you know what, uh, irrespectful of where you are today, you can be where you want, anytime you want. Yeah. The only thing you just need to believe is yourself. Is yourself. Yeah, okay. she really encouraged me. I remember yes. there's a time I was going rough times mm. at work and, and, and I could call her, she told me, you know what, do it, do it, that, that's, that's purposeful. Mm for that moment. Mm. She has been there, especially spiritually. She has really 
help me spiritually mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Okay. I love that you touched on finances because sure. we are about to demystify some myths out there. Okay. Given that you are younger, okay. some people would look at you now as a gala, what's the word? Gold <laughs> digger, right? <laughs> some people would think mm-hmm. you are with her for yeah. what she has, mm-hmm. for her money, for her assets, yeah, sure. for her beauty. Because one thing we can't take away from Judy, she's yeah. extremely gorgeous. Yeah, so sure. when people assume that, yeah. what do you see? I will say, actually, the, the mentality that is out there, when it comes to a young, a young man dating uh, someone who is uh, different with age, especially yes. the woman is upper with the age, yeah. they normally think it's all about money. They normally think you just sit there, she goes out there, work brings money for you. Actually, it's it's not that way. I remember the time she was she was telling you, you know what, you're the one, you're the one who is going to do the shopping today, and yes. it's the money is coming from you. Mm. So she, it's not always. Yes, she has money. I won't yes. lie. She has. She's mm-hmm. well financially. She's mm-hmm. stable. She's mm-hmm. okay, but that doesn't give me right to think that it's mine, understand? So she told me, you know what, let us improve ourselves. If I got her with these millions, let me make her a billionaire. Mm. If she got me with these millions, let's help each other mm. grow. Okay. So it's not a matter that because she has money, you have to think. Sometimes even when I like, when I lack, like, she's the last option I can ever think. You to. are not calling her. Yeah. You'll be like, I gotta sort <laughs> yeah, this yeah, one yeah. for myself. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Wait, and, uh, it's a very good experience, mm. especially when I'm when when I've interacted with her. Mm. The best thing that I've come, especially when it comes to finance, she'll always teach you like how do you handle whatever you have mm-hmm. so that you don't lack. I remember there's a principle she told me: if you see you're lacking money today, it's not because you're lacking it today. There's something last you didn't do last week that has resulted that to you lacking today. That is costing you this yeah. money. That's something great to learn from her. Okay, finance, yeah. awesome. And for people who think you are just using her? Uh, I will say time has a way of telling a lot of things. Give time some yeah, time. Give time some time. I will say for me, even if I'm given another chance, I'll still choose her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. You would mm. still choose her. Yeah, I will. Mm-hmm. For for every reason. Mm. For every despite whoever will be against. I will always choose her. Okay. I remember we sometimes could go out. There's a time we went to Mombasa and I would, I would love, I would love joking her to me and us and telling her, you know, I'll always choose you. It's a line that you always say, you know, I'll always choose you. Even when she's angry at me, I'll tell you, you know, I'll always choose you. Yeah. What about? Yes. I'll always choose you. Uh-huh. And uh, I've come to to appreciate when a woman decides to give you a chance in her life, don't mess it up. Yes. Just give her the best experience. Yes. Ever. Yes, yeah, you know, I saw, I saw something. Yeah. I don't know if it's crazy. Maybe Judy can tell me. Okay. Women know it's you when it's too early. Men realize it was you when it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. You anasema, oh my God, she was the one. Yeah. So now you, you are appreciating the present. Yeah. And you are taking charge of the present, right? Yeah. So let's move to another stereotype, Judy. Mm. Some people might assume because he's young, he's energetic, I'm really trying to be sensitive here. But some people might think because he's young, he's energetic, that's why you are with him. What do you say to those people? Uh, I would say that him being a, um, a, a young man, yeah. it's not about being young or being an older man. The way I see him, he's a man who happens to be young. So it doesn't matter if he's older or he's, if he's yes. younger. Mm. He's just a man who happens to be, be younger than me. And you are just a woman who happens to, to be, be in love. What <laughs> 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 Guys, if you see the set today, it's lit. <laughs> he's just a man who happens to be. Yeah. And you're a woman who happens to be yeah. in love. Yeah. Let's talk about your family. Okay. Uh, her, she did the whole, you know, there was the whole uh, conversation with the kids. Yeah. And now, obviously, they are supportive. How is your family when it comes to the woman you chose? Uh, I will say I want to appreciate with the camera. I, I, yes, yes, yes. This I, really, I want to appreciate my dad, oh. Mr. Julius Amondi. Whatever that man is, I salute you. My dad walked me through it. 
he he did walk me from the first step as a man told me you know what now you're dealing with someone who is special to you my dad was super supportive God. my mom came in she actually called my mom and my mom was like we okay, are really happy because my parents did understand where I was coming from and they walked through me through the whole process of my past until I told them you know what I'm ready to bring a woman mm-hmm. they have never ever felt like age is an issue they yes. always supported me and he, my dad always called me every day how is judy how is he uh-huh. yani my parents have been yes. and then there's someone who has been supportive it's my brother vin flavor he's my brother my oh. big up bro okay. like we work the same place yes. he's a very supportive guy <laughs> yani we can ima best sana bro bro mi acha nikuchamue nikuendangi hivyo iko sababu if now you kosea her yeah. you will utajua ujui yeah. she has the support of everybody yeah, sure. your dad your mom mm. your brother yeah. so I will say my 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 family has been yes. super supportive. Yeah. And I remember the time I now I did announce. Yes. After the, it was posted everywhere. Actually me never expected it to go that viral. Yeah. My phone was buzzing. Then my dad called me. I was like, "You know what, son? I'm proud of you." Oh. Uh-huh. I'm super proud of you yes. because the peace I was experiencing through the whole process mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. so amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have they met her? Uh, my parents yes. my brother has met her yes. but my parents not yet not yet but they they have interacted with her through phone calls. so so you are planning on doing course, the whole introduction yeah, sure. and stuff how are your family members Judy apart from your kids mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, some are mm-hmm. supportive mm-hmm. some are negative about it mm-hmm. but nobody has come out to condemn whatever the de- decision that i have made mm-hmm. So we are just watching from afar. Mm. But they respect my decision. Okay. Yeah. There's a common phrase that is always out there. Mtaacha hata mshikane mkono hivyo mtaachana tu. Mtaachana tu. What do you say to that? And also how do you guys handle uh, arguments because I've, I've heard you say sometimes you guys make a sirika. How do you handle that? Okay. Uh, I will say for the, for those people who say mtaachana tu. When God decided to create someone, he knows the destiny. You understand? The best thing I can do is to give her love. Yes. To give her respect as a woman, to yeah. love her. That's the best I can do. And the best she has given me is respect mm. and everything. So, I don't foresee any situation with the experience I'll yes. see that I'll ever wake up and say, "You know what? I don't want to." Mm-hmm. Because that was the first question my dad asked me. Are you sure 20 years from today you won't wake up and tell ha go away mm. i said yes dad you understand so i'll really insist the person you decide to settle with you're not only making a decision for someone who will stay with you're even choosing a place you'll be buried a place where you will be your life is going a family that go, is going to interact powerful you understand mm. so for me i will say when it come to atituta chana that's Yani I don't see any situation coming up mm. like that because mm. we have really passed hard situations that could have led to that and we have overcome. Oh, and actually when, that. when you come to argument I normally I normally say don't get into something without knowledge. I remember there's a time we did counseling with her I went to a counselor and told her love cannot hold a marriage. You did what? We went for counseling. Oh man I'm loving this part. <laughs> yeah. You've been to counseling together. Yeah, yeah. Okay take so, us through that. So the, We, we, we were told like something we learned from that love cannot hold a marriage but knowledge knowing how to apply the knowledge and being wise about it mm-hmm. it's everything yeah. because sometimes i can be so mad at her and then she keeps got to smile at me and tell you you know what i'll always love you and choose you it comes everything oh, wow. down understand yes. so it creates an environment yeah. that we are able to communicate and mm. you know what babe you have you wrong like today morning also but that's all like you take it so much time we need to be at eight <laughs> then she told me don't worry mm. she just look at me in the car mm. she told me you know what you're the husband i love and i respect i'm sorry for today oh. next time i'm gonna make it right i'm going to be on time yeah oh. and it all the anger just went away okay and i said yes please i can't read that for anything oh no, i can't man. I'm loving this. First of all, we respect each other. Yeah. So there is no name calling. We talk about it like two grown up people and we find solutions like two grown up people 
And the best part of it is we don't argue about it. We just talk. find a solution. We talk about mm. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Mrs. Okay. You want to add to that? Uh, the fact that sometimes, okay, you know, there's sometimes like you, are, you argue and I realize, no, it's my time to calm down. Mm. She's, and then so there's a time so yeah, she argue and she realizes, you know what? Because one of you gotta yeah, calm good. down. Yeah, it's that yes. simple. It's simple. It's simple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But one thing I really mm-hmm. appreciate there is mm-hmm. no day we have ever reached to a point like we can become abusive. Actually, sometimes we argue, we pause, yeah. we tell each other the best moments, then we come back. We okay. say, you're gonna sort that thing. Mm-hmm. But one rule we have we can never sleep without finding a solution. Mm-hmm. We must. Find a solution. Yeah. Powerful. He's mentioned counseling because sometimes we go to counseling when things have started falling apart in marriage. Cindy, why was it important for you guys to go for counseling even at this stage of your life? Uh, we needed to understand more about what we are getting yes. into and we needed to be mentally prepa- prepared mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for the haters mm. and the uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just looking at I'm sorry. I know Bana <laughs> <laughs> So we just needed help. Mm. Yeah, a little bit help. Yeah. And preparation mm-hmm. mentally and psychologically. Mm-hmm. Okay. He yeah. said okay. his okay. take home was love is not enough if you don't have knowledge. Mm. What was your take home from the whole counseling uh, session? Uh, it doesn't matter our age gap. It doesn't matter whatever we make, yeah. our income. It doesn't matter about anybody else. Yeah. It's all about me and mm-hmm. him and our understanding mm-hmm. and our covenants mm-hmm. together. Okay. Yeah. All right. I want to move into, I have some few questions okay. for you, but yeah. you did mention the engagement. You did it in a house, right? Yeah, but sure. from your videos, it's yeah. in Naivasha. Yeah. So do you have a house in Naivasha <laughs> or which house exactly? Okay. Just for the purpose of Yeah, for the purpose. Okay. Yes. So I remember after asking her that way, Yeah. She said yes, and then she was. I was like, okay, I want to make it special for her. So I remember I called my director, my yes. camera. I, I told her, you know what? Let's go just do a, a um, shoot out there. Yes. So got into car, we went, got there to viewpoint. I yes. told her, you know, God created this for a purpose. We went there. Then uh, when I was young, I remember nameless and who did the wedding around those areas. Yeah. It was my dream. I was like, when I get a woman, I will do it there. Actually, it was along, along Naivasha Road, mm. uh, Nakuru, that, yes. that road. Yeah. So we got there. Then I told the director, set everything mm. Mm. right. Mm-hmm. Then we, when uh, we have done, so for her, in her mind, she thought it was a song. Yes. Then I, 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 I did hold her hand. Yeah. We haven't released the video. Yes. It's yet to be released. Okay. We really wanted her to do the first public interview mm. here, and then yes. we released. Guys, okay. we're going in her YouTube channel, yes. released her. we will yeah. do release the engagement video. Okay. So I went on the news. And the whole, it was just beside the mm. road. And I love the canopy. Yes. Okay. Officially did it in public mm. and asking, you know what? Mm. I was serious when I said wow. that. But the, 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 the second time I went on, on my knee. Mm. You went I, twice? Yes. On your knees? Yes, because this, uh, the second time was in the public. Okay. It was beside the road yes. when, you're, when you're going to, uh, yeah. to Nakuru. Yeah. And I told her, you know what, this time, I want to confirm that I've chose you. And she answered, I'll always choose you. Oh, that's okay. what, that, that's lady's So that's, that's why the whole I'll always choose you yeah. thing is so powerful for True. you. Yeah. But I love that you are both creatives. Okay. She's an artist. You are also in the Maybe creative industry. Yeah. In an era where cloud chasing is so rampant, yeah. uh, someone wants to be famous, let's dramatize this. What sets you apart from okay. the whole cloud thing? Uh, I remember the, the time I... Decided, we decided, okay, let's put it public. Yes. Uh, when you make people think it's cloud, but mm-hmm. you can never play with your life, yeah. especially from where we are coming from. Yeah. You can never, we, can, we could never, we could have never allow ourselves. If we wanted to cloud change, there were many things we could have done. Mm-hmm. But for me, mm-hmm. as an artist, as a, as a, as an, actually as a producer and yeah. having an artist, yeah. I really discourage people from doing cloud chasing. Why? Because if people love whatever you're doing, Lynn, I love your work. I've never seen you cloud chasing, but I just okay. wake up 
what whatever Lynn is doing. Mm. I don't need you to clutch just for me to love your work. Thank you. Understand? Yeah. So that's something I will tell about people who are out clutch chasing. Okay, you can do whatever you want to do, the mm. life is yours. But mm. I can never clutch chase with her heart. Understand? I'll never make her look a fool in yeah. public. I'll never make public see her as a stupid woman. Yeah. I'll always see, make public, see her as a queen, and as a woman. An intelligent yeah. woman. God, I love how you care for her. I do. Man, <laughs> I'm just here wishing you guys all the best. I'm yeah. loving this, I'm loving seeing this <laughs> and everything. Let me ask you, Judy, what do you love about this man? You know, he's, <laughs> he's very <laughs> handsome. <laughs> very energetic. <laughs> he's very driven. He knows what he wants in life, mm -hmm. and he knows how to get it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. What do you love most about her? Uh, <clears throat> of course, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, of course, for the eye. Yes. The second thing, I love how, number one, she has raised her kids. She has. I normally tell her, you have done the perfect job. I have interacted with, the, with all the kids. Yeah. You'll see the respect from them. Mm -hmm. The way she, the kids talk to her, you feel, wow, she, mm -hmm. she has done a really great job. That's mm -hmm. one thing I love about her. Yeah. Because if she was able to raise her kids that way, yes. if God give, <laughs> gives us a kid, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm just like, it's going to be a very beautiful experience. Yeah. You understand? That's what I normally tell. I just love her for the person she is. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Because I remember the first question that came outside mm -hmm. there from the public, are you going to have kids? I told mm -hmm. them, you know what? Whether with kids or without, without kids, this is the woman I've chosen. Wow. To be with. Powerful. She's the best. Yes. Sorry. And you'll always choose her. Of course. Because it's a how like you to <laughs> <laughs> choose her. <laughs> me choose her. Yeah. You, she has kids, you have a child. Yeah. Are you considering blending the families okay. and have the kids met? Uh, for me, I will say mm. uh, my kid is very still young. small. By the time maybe she gets to, if life gives that chance, why not? Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and then again, we can't, uh, I'm one person who doesn't like to force issues. Yes. If it's, it's, I believe that something should happen naturally. Good. The, the interaction should, yes. be, should be just natural. Yes. Not like, you come here, sit here. No. Yeah. You understand? Yes. Because we respect each other's space. Even mm. for her, I respect her space. Mm -hmm. There's a day she'll tell you, you know what, today I just want to put off my phone. I just want to be alone. Yeah. And I'll respect her. The mm -hmm. same, I'll tell her, you know what, I want to spend today in studio. I'll respect that. So, so yeah. we don't... Personal space yeah, personal is very, very important. important huh? sure. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. I know time is not on our side, but I'm still not <laughs> going to let you guys go before I ask a couple of questions, sure. right? Yeah. There is a question of power struggle or even yeah. power balancing. Huh? How, like, because the perception is the man is the head of the house, right? Mm. Do you think she's stronger? And Judy, do you think that there is need for you to act or feel more powerful? Or do you let your man guide you? And do you submit as a woman? He's the man, of course. Yes. <laughs> and the Bible tells us to, to submit to our husband. Yeah. So... I submit. Mm -hmm. He leads. Yeah. He's the man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like there is a power struggle given the age gap? Do you mm. feel sometimes like you have to listen to, or she's more authoritative? Ama mm nakubeba -hmm. What do you feel? No, I will say the best thing that has come from her. Yes. It's the respect she gives me as a man. She has never ever shouted at me wow. she has never i will say for the moment first day to day mm -hmm. she has never shouted at me mm. if she has an issue she will make sure she said it at the right time yeah she won't even do it at the phone she'll just say you know what i miss you on see you then she'll come you know what there's a day if there's a time you've done this you've done this it makes me feel she yes. makes me understand yeah. my wrongs that are how hurtful yes. it has been to her okay and she, the best thing she have allowed me to be a man yeah. in my own space. Okay, I she think. has submitted whatever I want as mm. a man. Mm. And uh, where we disagree, yes. we sit down and find a balance. Yeah, it's good today have a man on set. Yeah. Define submission yeah. for me from okay. a man's perspective. I want to tell men, submission is not dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> is men's discourse here? <laughs> yes. There's a very big line. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Zala, how are you? <laughs> yes. I think a lot of men misunderstand submission and dictatorship. Mm. You understand? I can't just wake up one day because I'm the man and decide something. No. You have to understand when a woman decides to submit, you need to. She has given you a chance to nature me. Mm. If you give a, a woman a house, she'll make it a home. Mm. But if you become so dictatorship on her, she, she, even you won't allow herself to be who she is. Mm. You understand? Mm. If today say if today I decide to be so dictatorship on her, there's some things I'm going to kill inside yes. her. Mm. You understand? Mm. But I just need to show her, you know, baby, this is a man I think we should do this. Mm. She tells me, "Oh baby, I know this is right." Mm -hmm. So yeah, that doesn't mean you need to be oh ni mesema ni hivi na hivi, you understand? Mm. And the respect that that she gives me it's actually the best submission okay. I've ever received. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. Define submission to us from a woman's perspective. I will tell you something, Lynn. Eh. You are a woman, Cindy. Eh, kabisa. When a woman is treated right, when a woman is respected right by her man, we submit naturally. We don't struggle. <laughs> Where you struggle? <laughs> <laughs> If a man, yes. if a woman is not submitting to mm. her man, mm. it is because of his actions towards yes. her. So because whatever we are given, we double it mm -hmm. or we multiply it. Yes. So if I am giving him negative vibes I'm or negative uh, treatment, it is because of how he has treated. Me. Yes. Because he treats me like mm. right. It is natural for mm -hmm. me. That is how God created us. Yes. We submit naturally. Naturally. There is no struggle. Mm. If you see your woman struggling to submit to you, it is because you are, maybe you are being abusive. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are not treating her right. Yes. Maybe you are not hearing her yeah. because as women, we love to talk. Yes. We love to talk. We love to express how we feel. And many men don't listen. Yes. They say it's nagging Who you when you're really supposed to mama. listen to your yes. woman. Yes. The same man saying, oh, your mama anapenda kupiga makelele. Yes. But believe me, the time that she will zip up. Mm. You have already lost you've, her. you've lost. I say a woman by the the moment she stops talking to you, she stops caring. Mm -hmm. If you guys used to argue and she stops arguing, mm -hmm. that woman already gave up on you. Mm -hmm. So would you say, because you are submitting as a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Is he providing and leading you towards the right direction? Do you feel that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I, he's a good leader. Wow. Yeah. Yes, yes, you take your flowers one more time. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good leader. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, one more stereotype, maybe. Okay. Mommy issues. Okay. There's always the assumption that when you see um, a younger man mm -hmm. going for an older woman, mm -hmm. this man has mommy issues. Okay. Maybe he did not get the love he needed when he was growing up. What's your take on that? And do you have mommy issues? Uh, I'll say for me, I don't think if I have because mm. what what really prompted prompted me to decide to go to yes. her for me, I think it's the past experiences that I've had with younger ladies, uh -huh. especially like let me say for the past interaction I've done with yeah. younger ladies. Yes. I always, you find someone, okay, I'm not, I don't have anything against young ladies, okay. actually, I don't, yes. I don't, yes. I don't, I don't, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, but, uh, what? but uh, <coughs> my own experience mm -hmm. with, uh, with younger ladies, mm. I will say, you'll meet someone, you try to talk to her, to talk to her about finance, let invest, she's not into it, she yes. just want, she just want, the easy life, the easy life, you tell someone, you know, at, uh, you have to take these sacrifices for this to happen, she's not there. I've met her. I've, I'm telling you, Lynn. By the time, let me. By the time this year ends, you know, I've I've said time will tell. She has allowed me to lead to lead her, and you'll see. I'm promised, guys. You'll see the change in mm. her music. I normally tell her, and the world's gonna know your name yes. for only accepting yeah. to submit to me. Yeah. So for me, I don't think I had mommy issues. I think it's the experience I had with. Younger women. Yeah, there's a time I think I was in a certain way back in a mm. relationship. Mm. I was so depressed. And uh, one thing people don't know, you can fall into depression and you don't know. I woke up one day and I couldn't remember anything about myself. I couldn't remember my phone button. In a snap of a moment, I found myself walking and was like, wow, my heartbreak can make me come this much. You understand? And uh, I remember that relationship, it was way back. This lady just comes and tells you, you know what, I'm tired of this, I'm going. 
you have invested you have built any it's a very past yes. past experience so yeah. for me i was like i got someone who can never give up on me you understand i'm not perfect i've done some wrongs to her but she she has never ever woken up and tell me you know what i'm giving up on you yes so for me i say the past experience i've had mm. so for me it was like if i'm not going to for her i think i'll i will have stayed for a Peggy. very long time mm. being alone mm. but for her whatever i've seen in her mm. is something i haven't seen in, mm. in, in, mm. in any other woman yes bit or bit of being a, an older woman or what i've seen just from judy yes it's perfect i love that yeah, i love sure. that you know for me it's the support okay. that you guys because i always say there's no need being with someone kama ham jengani yeah, sure. if all you'll do is break and break and break each other let it go sure. your person should be able to help you elevate yourself yeah, sure. not the other way around okay. you are an artist Yeah. a beautiful musician could you bless us with something eh? so yeah. that we can just get to hear just you sing because i know our audience would love that T- feel free breathe in breathe I'll out tell them to go to youtube they will go <laughs> walisha fika by the way as they are watching they have another tab open yeah. yako they already went already sure. but it could you whatever is in your heart right now could you just sing it for us Uh, we have this principle mm. we support each other yeah. understand yeah. so unataka kuimba pamoja of course okay go <laughs> hey go on let's okay. do it na usichague i want her to choose the song i want her to choose what she's a friend to me she eh oh, oh you want him yeah. to lead yeah. <laughs> guys can you stop <laughs> yes go thank on thank you by the way yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> So there's mm. a there's a song called mm. more than a friend she's more than a friend to oh. me. So sure. yeah uh, the song sings mm. you're more than more than you're more than a friend to me you're more than more than you're more than a friend to me so the rest they can wow. <laughs> Can you sing it one more time just for us okay. for not for us for me oh, okay yeah you're more than more than you're more than a friend to me you're more than more than you're more than a friend to me wow good i'm yeah. happy i'm more than a friend to you guys because <laughs> yeah. it's 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 wonderful yeah. you you guys you have something beautiful going on really keep it someone. thank you keep it believe in it yeah. of course challenges are bound to be there oh. they will be there yeah. but i always say when two people stand for the same thing yeah. even the world can't break them messesi kuna watu watakuita kinuthia kuna watu watakuita kinuthia maybe there are some people who might think the decision you've made is not the right decision what would you want to tell them uh, you see in the day you will be okay i'm not saying 200 yes. years from now or 1000 years from <laughs> yeah. now the day you will be laid into that coffin you will be alone the day you will know i normally tell god has given us power if tungekuwa na that was a kuuliza those people who have lost their life those last one minute you normally recount every mistake every decision you've done and for me this is the best yeah. if this is being kinuthia i'm the best you're the best kinuthia yes. <laughs> if, if this is what they called kuweka for me if i've become the best of me mm. by this mm. Then I'm in it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I've been able to achieve a lot. Even my boss can tell. Actually, I remember mm-hmm. <laughs> Story. Yeah. yeah. There's a day my boss called me. Actually, I love Bahati. Yes. He told me, "You know what? You've been productive since I met her because the peace I've experienced in work. You come home, you find someone tells you, I normally come home and, and the first rule he must hug me every day." Uh Judy, a lot of women will be watching you right now. and i love that you admitted there was a point where you lost you know faith in love mm-hmm. and there are some women who are there where you are right now first they think maybe they are too old they think no one will ever look at them the same way they think they've lived their life they are scared of what the society would say looking at that camera what would you want to tell them hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i would like to tell them that they should give themselves a second chance even a third chance i remember there was a time i was 
very sick and that time I thought I was going to die. In fact, I thought I was going to die. I, I think the spirit of death was just around there, hanging around. <laughs> and I remember that time being alone, being sick. When you're sick, you feel like uh, you are in a prison in your own body. Mm. And being in that, being there in that position where I was not able to do anything, not even to eat, not even to drive, not even to wash myself, not even to brush my teeth. That is when I realized that my life is my life alone. The only person who cares about my life is me. I have raised my kids to the best of the knowledge I ha had and the resources I had. Now it is time for me to live my life. Wow. And I will tell women, live your life to the fullest. Yeah. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself a ch second chance. Mm. Hakuna kuzeka. Hakuna <laughs> natumekata. <laughs> go you. Go you. Do go you. you. And do you. Cindy, yeah. Yeah. so many men. I love that you are starting to open up about depression as a man, yeah. being through a dark stage. Um, uh, what would you tell men who are out there and they are just suffering in silence? Okay. And two, they wouldn't dare go for what they are, for what their heart wants. Okay, what I will tell them, mm. you are denying yourself a lifetime experience. It's either you live in depression and die in depression, yes. or you come out, mm. you get help, yeah. and live a life that you can never, mm -hmm. you can never, you ne had never even imagined. Mm. For me, I will say, I will always be proud of myself. I will always, and I'm encouraging men out there, live your life. Find someone who you can connect with, someone whom you feel will give best out of you, mm. someone who can make you grow more. For me, I will say as a man, yeah. guys out there, live your life. Live your life. It's that simple, live your life. Yes. If, if, uh, if I die tomorrow, if mm. I die two years, whatever, God knows, I understand, mm. life will continue, mm -hmm. but I'll ask myself, have I lived my life? Mm -hmm. Have I experienced? And if my happiness is with Judy, yes. I will go for it. You'll go for it. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I want to wind up and okay. I, want, I want people, I want you to get an opportunity to tell people where they can find you. Okay. I know our editor already uh, put uh, your YouTube uh, names on the screen. Okay. But before we wind up, I want you to look at each other. So I'll start with Miss Essie. Okay. If you could look at Judy, okay. what would you want to tell her right now? Wow. Hey! <laughs> 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 Babe, I want to look into your eyes and tell you, you have given me a chance to experience true love. You're the best for me. You'll, I'll always choose you. And my heart is with you. I will love you. I'll give the best from you. I'll always protect you as a man. And thank you for loving me and choosing me. You're the best baby. Oh. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what would you want to tell him? So you can just look at him. Mm. I want to tell you that thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving the broken, the mended, the, the shaggy one, the beautiful me. And I will always respect you and follow you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for choosing me. Let's choose you. Okay. You can hug and kiss it. <laughs> it's okay. It's allowed. It's allowed. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. I yeah, yeah, wish you all the best Thank with you so your much. family. Okay. Mm, go out there and conquer. Okay. Live the life okay. you have imagined. Right. Be happy. Thank you. And be at peace. Amen. It is important. Yeah, right. Be happy and be, be at happy. peace and choose what you need to choose to choose yeah. judy i cannot tell the many women you've encouraged just mm -hmm. by accepting to come and share this part of your life mm -hmm. i am honored to have had a chance to sit with you and i'm wishing you love as you said it's time for you to choose yourself yeah. and i'm happy you are choosing yourself you are choosing love and you are choosing to do it with the man that you know is going to lead you. So all the very best, right? As I wind up, or before I, I wind up, um, do you have anything else you think we needed to touch on or something you might have left out that we need to touch on? 
Uh, the last thing I'll just I'm here yes. to support my I'll just ask support from the public. You ina come. Oh, ah. Apart from support, <laughs> you okay. ina come something else. Something I will mm. ever say like uh, before you for, this is for the haters. Yes. Come as you are. Uh, <laughs> don't you can write whatever you want to write yes. you can say whatever you want to to say but at the end of the day it's me who will receive hugs and kisses from her it's what? not you gotcha. <laughs> 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 yeah it's right you write to her but hey, at the end of the day ni mimi judi judi mine is before you judge you don't know where someone has been you don't know the past life of someone you don't know you what your comment may do to that person because we are we are, we are passing through a lot of challenges in our lives and we need all the love that we can get and we need to give people all the love that we can give let us not hate each other let us uh, love it, each other let us support each other and guys Stop hating. Stop. <laughs> Stop hating, man. Yes. <laughs> 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 kabisa, 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 I want my people to go and support your work. Okay. I want them to go and you know subscribe to your platforms. Okay. I think that's the best gift I can give you wow, from right, this uh, right. channel. Okay. So maybe where can people find you and once again a kind reminder okay. of what you do okay. and how best they can reach you. Okay, uh, for me, I'm, I'm an audio producer, I produce songs. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find me in Instagram yes. as Ayo Mesesi. Yeah. There's no other Mesesi, even you write Mesesi to yes. me. Oh, wow. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, Mesesi. Yeah. Uh, for YouTube, yes. you can find my wife. Okay. My beautiful, I call her my beautiful level. Yes. Uh, you can go to YouTube. Guys, I'm requesting help me love my woman by just going to her channel, YouTube channel. Judy Lester. Yes. Judy Lester. Yeah. Search Judy Lester. The link is it's right, it's already here. Yeah. It's it's gonna you also be pinned on the comment section. Still in uh, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Judy Lester. Wow. Yeah, she's doing amazing job. Mm -hmm. She's she's here. She's she's here to, to release new music that yes. are coming. Mm. And uh, we are not cloud chasing. If you mm. wanted a song, guys, I could mm. just tell you guys. And but from my heart, mm. I will support my woman. Yes. Good. Yeah. Go you. Go you and all of you be happy. Thank you, Judy, thank you. apart from where he has said we can find you, where else can we find you? You can also find me on Facebook. Yes. Judy Lester. Okay. I think that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Very much. Sh sh yeah, most, most definitely. Most yeah. welcome. Yeah. And uh, Gala, thank you. We <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it so yes. much. Yeah. Yeah. We're sorry for the late. Yeah, I mean, for being late. It's, it's the, the makeup, yeah. man. It's mm -hmm. okay. It's allowed. Yeah. It's allowed. But thank you so much. Really uh, go out there and conquer. Thank you. And um, just live your life. Asante. And be happy. Thank you. Me, I want by the way to do this interview with you ten years to come. <laughs> mm. So yeah. um for me I can't Actually, wish we call you now waiting well. Mimi Ukweli. Mimi plays food because we are the so I am I am coming through. But thank you so much for even being here today yeah. and opening your hearts and to so us. Yeah. And may God bless the work of your hands. Really and may you. He bless your union. Same as our yeah. Shall we wind up? Yeah, we can wind up. Hey, my people, what a yeah. what a feel good huh? conversation we've had today. Even me personally, I feel happy. And I also want to know, guys, on the comment section, what is your take home from today's conversation? conversation what do you think what do you feel what are your views when it comes to age gap relationships um is someone choosing you also i want to know that on the comment section and of course if you would want to share your story with us our email is there info at lnn.digital and i want you guys to do me a favor you know how we do it here on the show i want you to go on judy lester's youtube channel subscribe Show her some love and let her know that Lynn sent you because that's the best we can do, guys. Let's support her art. They have not asked me to do this, but I'm going to do it because I believe it is important for us to support other people. So go subscribe to her YouTube channel and check out her work. And if you see something that you like, her, let her know that we appreciate her. And I'm just hoping that one day in the near future, I can be able to sit with them again 
and bring you their conversation and see how things go. It's important to wish other people love. Always remember, it's the energy you give. You give negativity, you will receive a lot of negativity. You give people positivity, you are going to receive the same positivity. It's the energy you give. So thank you so much uh, for tuning in. And do not forget to support our work, guys. We have the, the best ways you can be able to channel your support to us, to us is here on the screen. And of course, I do not get to do this alone. Mumeski, a little people laughing at the background. That's my incredible team, our producer for the day, Gala, for this incredible episode. Of course, our assistant producer, she has, you know, she takes care of this whole production, a scholar, and the man behind the camera, Muga, for just genuinely giving us an incredible episode. Not forgetting our editor, Kelv, for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you guys right on time. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Lynn Gugi. Till next time. And then in Pendwe, Nam Pendane. Bye. <laughs>